Uh, okay, the, my presentation uh, will be, the title is called uh, Modeling and Simulation of a Non-Stationary High-Rise Lift System to Predict the Dynamic Interactions uh, between its components. Uh, the co-authors, uh, my name is Rafael Sanchez, uh, Dr. Stefan Kaczmaszek, Professor Phil Picton, and Dr. Rudwan Su. Uh, the scope of my presentation will be uh, introduction, description of the vibration model, the vibration model, case study, and results, and the conclusions. Um, as an introduction, um, a building that continuously vibrates due to wind, a uh, wind loading acting on it. Uh, the displacements at the top of the building will depend majorly on the speed of the wind, height of the building, structural design, and uh, if it has active to mass tantrum. Um, the vibrations of the building have a very low frequency and uh, as well as the elevator ropes, uh, majorly the compensating ropes. When the frequency of the building matches one of the elevator ropes, uh, the, uh, the resonance phenomena appear. And uh, when these, these resonance appear, high amplitudes in the elevator ropes uh, start to appear and uh, causing impacts and uh, also uh, um, noise inside of the building. Um, in this uh, picture, I have placed two pictures. Uh, the shard in London, which uh, has a height of 306 meters, and it is a composite structure. And uh, at the other side, it is uh, uh, the, uh, the King Kingdom Tower in uh, Jedi, Saudi Arabia, which will be the <coughs> one meter high uh, structure, and uh, this structure, uh, both of them will be facing uh, uh, resonant phenomena of the elevator ropes. Um, description of the vibration model. Uh, the, vibra the model will consist of a traction shift, director pulling, uh, lift car, compensating chip and counterweight, which will be connected uh, by suspension ropes and compensating ropes. Uh, the lift car and the counterweight will be moving uh, along the lift shaft, and also the suspension ropes will be changing their length according to the kinematic profile of the drive control um, of the system. Um, just uh, like a uh, presentation, uh, before we apply the Hamilton principle, which requires uh, uh, to be integrated the time T1 and T2 of uh, the kinetic energy minus uh, the potential energy plus the non conservative forces equals to zero. And uh, if we apply this principle, uh, we will be obtaining uh, the equations of motion of the rope <coughs> in the lateral in plane, lateral out of plane, and uh, the longitudinal direction. And uh, as well, we will be obtaining the equations of the masses in the longitudinal direction, uh, which will be the, um, for the car, compensating ship, and the counterweight. Uh, also, this principle we will be obtaining the um, we will be obtaining the, uh, the boundary conditions of the system. And uh, after applying the principle, we need to, we need to solve the nonlinear partial differential equations uh, with to using the Galerpi method. And uh, to, obtain the to obtain the following nonlinear ordinary differential equations. Uh, for the ropes in the lateral in plane <coughs> and uh, in the lateral out of plane. The equations of the masses are uh, the following. And uh, I'll through that. Uh, I will be presenting uh, several case studies, um, but uh, majorly the car and the counterweight will be traveling at a constant speed of five meters per second. And uh, also, we will be having an acceleration of 1.10. For the first case study, 
uh, the lift car will be positioned at the bottom landing level and they will be going uh, to the top landing level and uh, the building will be having uh, a lateral in-plane frequency of 1.40 Hz with a uh, displacement of 7 centimeters <coughs> and in the lateral out of plane it will be having 0 0.30 and uh, 1 centimeter of excitation. Before showing you the animation, I will be presenting to you several plots. Uh, first of all, uh, you will be seeing that uh, around 4.6 and 16.2, uh, uh, the car will be achieving the 5 meters per second uh, at constant speed, will be traveling. And uh, uh, with this plot, uh, it is uh, the variation of frequency uh, in time of the suspension ropes at the car side and uh, the solid uh, black, blue, red and green are the four first natural frequencies of the suspension ropes at the car side and uh, uh, the red dotted line and the blue dotted line are the lateral in plane and lateral out of plane uh, frequencies in which the building <coughs> will be vibrating. Also, in the black uh, <coughs> dashed dot, dotted line is the variation of frequency in the longitudinal direction of the car and uh, the blue line dashed dotted one is the variation of frequency of the uh, compensating shift and the green line is uh, of the counterweight and uh, for the suspension ropes majorly you will be seeing that uh, around 4.2 seconds and uh, 12.2 uh, they will be passing through the second uh, mode and then to the fundamental mode and the same will be for the compensating ropes uh, they will be experimenting uh, passing through the first, uh, second, third, and fourth at four, six, eight, and ten seconds. Now we'll be passing through the regression model. to share the, the screen but I will be restarting better the animation so we can see the at the beginning. The car is uh, this one you might not be seeing so much due to the scale. This is the car traveling at uh, towards the top landing level and uh, this is the counterweight. And uh, right now uh, the uh, suspension ropes are at their experimenting two modes and uh, the, uh, the compensating ropes are uh, experimenting the four modes. Thank 
The next case study uh, will consist of uh, placing the lift car at the top landing level and having the same uh, frequencies uh, at a 1.40 and 0 0.20. The same uh, will be passing to the assuming the 5 meters per second uh, and uh, going to 80.70 uh, travel height to the bottom. Uh, in here, the suspension ropes at the car side will be passing through the first, uh, second mode around uh, 8.2 and around 16.2 uh, seconds. And uh, for the compensating ropes, they will be experimenting all four modes. And uh, right now. Uh, right now I'm showing uh, you the second case study in which uh, the car, the car is positioned at the top and uh, it is will be traveling downward and right now the suspension ropes will be passing through resonance, the fundamental one, and the compensating ropes are experimentally full. The maximum amplitude achieved by the suspension ropes it is about uh, two meters the, at the mid span length.
sorry to show you the MATLAB like that, but I have to show it to you like that because of resolution problems. Uh, if I did it in the other, as a moving, it would, you wouldn't be seeing uh, in detail the animation. So. Yes, also the amount of data, it would have been too much.